Hey everyone, today on Park Ranger Pat, I wanna tell everyone about one of the most underrated but crucial components of everyone's hiking gears, and that's their socks. One time I was doing a nine mile trip and I saw some guy wearing Converse about three to four miles in. He was already kicking and screaming that his feet were killing him. And I just kind of laughed because he was wearing the wrong shoe and the wrong sock. One of the reasons I want to talk about hiking socks is because one of my roommates that I go with quite often, I asked him what he wore and he actually told me he wore cotton Nike crew socks. And for me, I was pretty shocked just because cotton has such bad capabilities, especially if you're doing long hikes or backpacking. But I wanted to make a video about the importance of your socks and what they can do for you on the trail and how much they can help alleviate any issues that you might have out there. So since I've already mentioned cotton socks, some of the cool things about cotton socks are that they're pretty soft, they're breathable, they're pretty cheap too. You can find them anywhere and they're very inexpensive. But one thing is that they hold smell so if you're on a long backpacking trip you can get like athlete's feet it's a good cause is that they actually will get moisture or your sweat and they won't wick it away from your body and so that's one of the bad things another downside is that if you get these things wet at all they don't retain any heat so if you go through a creek they're not really fast to dry out and they'll hold that, especially in the cold or in the heat, there's no insulation for your body, which is very important in those extreme conditions. Another kind of sock that is out there is like your gym sock, your kind of athletic sock. These ones are a little better at keeping the moisture away from your feet. Most of the times they're gonna be made with like nylon, polyester, maybe like a spandex to keep the same shape. And so these ones would probably be good for like shorter day hikes, um, trail running, you could probably get away with these. But if you're in cooler weather, if you get through rivers or creeks and your socks get wet, these won't really hold up in those kinds of weather conditions. So, especially if you're like wearing larger hiking boots like what I wear, um, these ones won't cover all the hiking boot which could rub on your ankle and cause issues there. So for me, I don't like to wear these kinds of socks on the trail. Another sock, type of sock that's actually pretty um, popular out there are silk socks and those are usually liners and that would go within before you put your regular sock on you put the silk sock on they're very thin lightweight material some of the pros are that it's got good insulation it's comfortable and it's lightweight but one of the cons is that the durability is very weak there so you're going to go through those pretty quick but the reason why you would get a liner sock is because it will help your feet if you are getting any blisters, if you have any rashes, or if you're getting other abrasions on your feet, tough spots, etc. Those sock liners are very popular and helpful when it comes to that. Personally, I'm not really a fan of sock liners. I think it's more important to get the boot and your sock to fit you correctly, but if needed, definitely a good way to go. One of the other deficits or drawbacks of silk socks is that they are pretty expensive and costly. Lastly, my favorite is like a wool blend sock. This is what I use for work, working in construction on a daily basis. If you're outside in the winter time, you're gonna keep your feet warm with this. If it's raining, you don't have to worry about your feet getting wet and getting cold for any reason. Um, overall, they're pretty wear, like pretty resilient to breaking down. Some of the reasons why I like wool socks is because they are antimicrobial and they wick sweat. So you don't get the stink or the odor at the end of the day. 
you won't have that coming up. Um, one thing that's interesting is that it can bend 20,000 times before breaking, but cotton would only bend about 3,000 times. So these socks are pretty resilient. One of the myths that's out there is that a sock is a very, a uh, wool sock is very itchy, but I have never experienced that. I think that's more of like what our parents or like grandparents would experience. I know some of the socks I got from my dad that were wool were super itchy, but modern day wool socks are designed to still give you the quality of the wool without the itchiness. A lot of that is done by using merino wool. Another cool fact about wool socks too is that they can retain 80% of their heat when they're wet, even though they can hold 30% of its weight in water. So they can still get just drenched and be super absorbed, absorb, yeah, and still absorb a ton of water, but keep your feet warm in the cold or cool in the heat. So they got really good insulating properties. One of the bad sides is that wool is a very expensive material. So a lot of companies to reduce the cost, they have put other products in there too. Usually it's like nylon and polyester. Nylon is great because it still adds durability and strength. It dries quickly and it's an inexpensive product or material, but it has a little bit of an issue with breathability second one is polyester the second one is polyester which is also more durable than wool it dries fast and it's cost effective but some of the cons are that it holds smell so if you have sweaty stinky feet you can still get the bacteria or the fungi to grow there personally if i'm getting a wool sock i look for something that's got more than 50 percent wool why is breathability on a sock very important? Well, your feet have roughly eight to 12% of your body's sweat glands. So you're gonna get more sweat from your feet than you will from most other locations in your body, maybe except for your head because, you know, heat rises. So it's very important that you take care of your feet Last thing that you want is any kind of athlete's foot or rash or any kind of blistering on your feet at all. If you're hiking and you're on your feet a lot, it's one of the reasons why having great socks, great boots will make your trips and trails out there better and not miserable. But what this has really taught me is that your foot and feet wear are most important when you're gonna be on them for long periods of time, whether it's hiking, whether it's at work, whether it's just hanging out with friends. Get good pairs of socks, get quality socks, and they will reap benefits for your feet long-term.